complexities turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <coughs> Dire team pick. Complexities turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Hello and welcome to the Star Ladder I League Star Series Season 2 American Qualifiers. We've been able to do it. We've made it through all the other rounds of games that have ended up coming back. And lo and behold, it's Complexity versus Digital Chaos. I, I don't think we were really expecting anything else. How Never seen this Ryu? before. I Never. Know, right? <laughs> Well, why don't you? Why don't we get right into it a little bit? Um, these two teams have faced each other in four. This is going to be the fourth consecutive matchup in, I believe, two or three days, uh, including one other matchup in this series as well. Uh, tell me how you feel about these two teams and where they stack up against each other. So far, it seems like Digital Chaos have kind of figured out complexity, and they're just playing a little bit better than them, and it doesn't necessarily have to be complexity's fault it just could be you know one one off day i'm sure not qualifying for one tournament that you just played five games for and it's summit like that is probably the funnest event you'll ever go to as a player hands down because it's just so interactive with all the players and you're just able to relax chill and it is definitely to, to, on everyone's priority to get to that and so that was kind of devastating Five for complexity not going to there and then the next day it's just like oh damn we got to face these guys again that and then it looks like digital chaos might have done even more research during that night figured them out played a little bit better than them out drafted them game yesterday and then out played them the next so it was so far it's just really close between the two and i, I don't know if you're ever going to see game pick clockwork from any other team in the world unless you have like ice mech on your team or something <laughs> right exactly and that's that to me feels like this is one of the exactly. ways that they were able to pull out the wins yesterday was phoenix obviously is really important it was the hero that won whoever picked it uh all of the games in the best of five in the summit and uh yesterday as we saw they they were able to win with the clockwork as well this seems really strong to me and it's just a hero that has some natural synergy with move i'm kind of curious if we're gonna see anything new or exciting still close to so close to the manila major nobody really wants to give anything away and it's just going to come down i would imagine to just solid play um but we'll see if anybody comes out with something new it's worth noting too in every single game that dc have played against complex they have opened with those two bands io bounty hunter and nothing else that, that's always what they take out of the pool just really respecting what complexity can do with those heroes we'll have to see i, I we always talk about in these situations why would you ever pick a clockwork instead of you know a beastmaster master still in the pool and my mind is digital chaos they want to have a way to initiate and just constantly team fight whereas complexity they're like oh well we have these two strong amazing heroes so far and the dark seer the doom they're going to be able to be very tanky durable go around the map but it, it seems like digital chaos they want to have that hook in, have that sun ray not be disturbed at all because all the focus is going to be on that clockwork trying to get him down when he, when he hooks in. And we, we've we seen clockwork remaining. disrupt so many dark seers in the past. If he can catch Five him out, make remaining. sure he doesn't blink in, get that vacuum wall combo. It can be you know game-breaking for the team fights. Time. 
No, absolutely. That's something that you need to be careful about. You need to be aware of. And having what looks to probably be a position for oh, Doom 2, it yeah, gives them even more mobility because you can start thinking about building that hero into maybe a Shadow Blade if Digital Chaos pick a really mobile hero that's hard to lock down, or you can just go for the straight up blink and really mess with the Phoenix. Get in on that back line there. But for now, Complexity are going to go back for a Life Stealer. We've seen this work really well with some heroes. I like it with the Nyx. I feel like Nyx is pretty good against the Phoenix as well. Uh, might be hard to try and run that given the context of this draft, but also every now and then a Storm Spirit can end up being uh, able to work well. And uh, for a, they need a hero that's going to be able to get into that back line and mess up and disrupt the Phoenix. That, to me, again, is just the, the most important hero. It's why it was picked first, and I feel like Complexity wouldn't give it away unless they had a plan for how to deal with it. Right, and... Right now, I'm wondering if they don't even just go Meepo here or next for Digital Chaos, honestly. Like, Meepo is <clears throat> really good at countering all of the heroes in a sense oh, where Lifestealer is not the best for dealing with him. Once he, once he gets the Blink Dagger online, he'll just poof in and then he'll just right click you to death and you just can't move. So, uh, it's a really good counter. We've seen DC pull it out time and time again for Weeha and. Remaining. There, the reason why they picked the life seal in this situation is because Five normally you say, Hey, Phoenix, your sunray, <laughs> it counters strength heroes, but in Zero a sense, time. life stealer is one of those heroes that it has a lot of damage coming back to him because of life steal. So he's like, Oh, that's okay, Phoenix, you can sunray me while I'm you know wailing on somebody, I'll still get all my HP back. And he's really good against awkward too, just because he can zone him out of lane, rage. Stop the battery assault, so that was the perfect pick for Kamehameha. Now it's... He's trying to pick again. We need a good support hero here. Hmm. They could go for... Uh, I wouldn't mind a Disruptor. I, I think Rubik is... Rubik's okay, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, you can steal Sunray, and then that hero is basically just on your own team. Um, one thing that I was going to mention is I kind of, I, I feel like Disruptor is one of the predominant picks across all metas right now, and I was wondering why DC ended up taking the Bane instead. Um, and to me, this feels like it's more, they want to make sure that they have something to lock down that life stealer. Obviously, Fiend's Grip, incredibly great against the hero, and while Clockwork can control him to some extent, it's not necessarily the greatest thing in the world. So uh, instead, Complex, you're going to go for the Lion, that instant disable, and you get a Blink Dagger up on this guy, it can start to become an issue. See, I really disagree with this lion pick right now. I, I think it's great and all for, for blowing up targets, but at at the end of the day, you would like to have a Rubik in this situation for stealing. You you can always steal fe the fiend script from Bane, like 99% right. of the time, unless you're out of position. Uh, clockwork, it he's really good at displacing the clockwork if he once he hooks in the cogs and kill him early on better than Lion. Whereas Lion, if he's found out in the back lines from the clockwork, that's going to be easy money for for Misery here, or Moo, sorry, in the offlane. And it it can work out. I'm just would rather see the Brubick. And now, so DC's trying to pick. We're going to have to see something. The mid hero here, or... So it's, uh, in my opinion, it might be Alchemist, or it might be Meepo. Hmm. What we see, we could still see it later on, but Alchemist very good versus a Dune as always. Just pop the Chemical Rage and then oh, okay, that's another wow. Dune candidate. Turn to so I thought they would pick solid. the mid. Sorry. I know, no, it's fine. I, I I think that this is this is an interesting one, it, sort of re reminiscent of the way that Liquid play things, where you have a lineup that's very situated around team fights and making sure that you win these engagements, either little skirmishes or full on team fights. They are going to be able to have really good pickoff potential, particularly once the Bane gets the Aether lens up, and so. The follow-up now is somebody who can push those objectors, objectives really, really rapidly and also move in and take down Roshan for themselves. So it feels good to me. The thing that I'd be worried about is if Complexity double down on another team fight hero, maybe even somebody that gives you a little bit of split push potential, then suddenly DC are in a little bit of a worse position because I, I, I think that the lineup of DC depends upon them being able to win those team fights and already complexly have a really great team fighting team yeah they just need to get rid of dp i think both of the teams want dp right now uh, or yeah meepo like talked Fire about uh, that could still be a potential so if dc don't take dp right here like you talked about complexity could pick it up for themselves is great in this situation so that come out dc can even if they want to puck for 
for Misery, or if they go for still the Alchemist. There's a lot of things for for Weeha in this mid lane, hmm. and yeah, Puck Ban is still good. So. Invoker very long ago was taken out of the pool. Uh, the DP, if they do want to take it, it feels like that could be pretty strong from Digital Chaos. Alchemist is still available as well. Um, and that one left untouched because of the Meepo ban. Maybe that's part of the reason why they took the Lycan as well, because they didn't really care between a couple of these other heroes. Like, they have the first pick of the mid laners, so they can kind of take whoever they want. As far as those matchup are concerned, is there anybody that you would not want to take because they can get countered heavily? Oh, this seems bold. Complexities turn to pick. Hmm. You wouldn't guess that normally, because Lena's kind of fallen off from the mid lane, just because... You normally want to have another semi carry or a better temper like the Queen of Ain or Puck, but this hero can work. Eggs later on minutes. will help a lot versus the Life Stealer, even the Doom, because you know he loves Five to go for all these tanky minutes. items. So complexity now, they need to think what do they want to go for. They they Reserve obviously time. still could go for the Alk themselves. Uh, they need to make sure they don't get run over early on. They could go for the DP as we talked about. I think those are the two biggest heroes. That could help complexity, but they might feel they are going to get overrun. So, in case they might go Queen of Pain mm. and just try to straight up man, uh, take these team fights. It's, it's kind of like, do we want to win this game in like 20, 30 minutes and be able to? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that's fun. Interesting. Both teams taking a little bit of a a curveball here with their last picks. Weha's going to be playing on that Lena. And this does, of course, mean that it's probably going to be a Chessy Batrider. They could run Limp on it. I'm not sure which one of those two plays Life Stealer um, and which one plays the Batrider. But uh, very mobile as far as who wants to play what. And they're taking their time for it, doing their little huddle. I'm sure they're screaming their heads off somewhere around the world, wherever they happen to be. As Digital Chaos versus Complexity. It's getting set. I'm excited. I can't wait for this. It's going to yeah. be a really great matchup. What are your predictions right off the bat for who you think is going to take game number one? I don't think there's a clear out draft here. So Ten seconds remaining. right now it's going to come down to can DC get... The kills constantly around the map because i do think complexity's later game is a little bit scarier just because of the the lichen <clears throat> i mean not the lichen the doom factor and then the bat rider can get a lot more pickups around the map i feel than a Prepare clockwork but uh, th that's still a good clockwork game to get a lot of things done and at the sea is going to be able to carry the games for moose so i'll have to side with I actually think Complexity are going to take this and they're going to break the losing streak just because I'm not sold on the Lena just yet. I yeah. know it can be amazing, but DC are going to have to fight early and often and they're going to have to end this game before 40 minutes if they're not too far ahead. To me, <laughs> at least 50 gold now. Yeah, the... That's look at this. There's like little meta things going on. They both TP to the lane. They're gonna feel comfortable about trading those off, and they they hand over one of the observer wards. The NA Dota wouldn't be NA Dota without a little bit of all chat to start it off right. Um, so the stare off. Kind of, yeah, exactly. How you guys doing? Hey, hello. Um, one of the things that I would say is I, I kind of agree with that Lena point. It always feels like, much like Queen of Pain, this is a hero that if you get ahead and you start snowballing, it's great, it's wonderful, you're you're off to a, a great start, but you very rapidly can fall behind if you just die even once. And I think that these teams are evenly matched enough that DC aren't just going to be able to roll over them. I, so I think that the gold swing that comes back from Lena dying at some point in time is probably going to be significant enough that uh, Complexity are going to be able to take it. Yeah, this is... Their lineup is, I would say, a little bit easier to execute from Complexity... So that's why I, I did pick them. But DC, their their lineup is still scary. I mean, we, we understood why, you know, Phoenix is banned so much against these two. We saw why it went 5-0 and like two days ago. It's, <laughs> we just could see the Birdman take over. Mm -hmm. Well, Swindles now is going to have misery on him. So a little bit of a strange start to this one. Well, Owl dropped down as well. Body blocks are there. Oh, Swindles in a lot of trouble. And... Looks like he is going to be able to survive through that. Z-Free comes on in to see if he can help out his brother-in-arms, but 
No real trouble, nothing very much of value lost, and it looks like with that, it's going to be a little bit of a dual Stay aggressive can offline. First blood here. I mean, he could have still got. He could still go for the first blood. All he has to do is level up Scorched Earth. He has 25 movement speed on this Phoenix right now. But yeah, and so that 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 would have been first blood. 99% sure, hmm. but hey, we're not going to see it. He takes the Devour. I mean, this is pretty good still as well. You're going to be able to get that Swiftness Aura, move around a little bit more quickly, and it's it's sort of in perpetuity. God, that's a terrible word. In perpetuity. That's definitely not a thing. But he's going to be able to be fast for a lot longer. <laughs> he doesn't have to cast that mana for it. Now he's also got the Infernal Blade. Runs down Misery a little bit, in some trouble, right-clicking him away, and the Brain Sap is still pretty freaking strong. Also gets off the clap and is going to end up being able to walk away from this one, I believe. God, Misery is just so quick, though, and Four, only needs one more three. right click. Can they find it? I think he's going to be able to. That's going to be first blood. Go in the way of Misery. Eats on up that doom. And this aggressive dual lane is just... Now it's not working out at all. And in a lot of situations, this is what Complexity should be doing. Doing a dual aggressive lane against the Lycan, trying to punish him. But it's not working out, apparently. And... and for the most part, Mu is level 3 on his Clockwork already. This is looking really good for him in the situation. I haven't been able to watch because there's been so much action in the, in the top lane, but Hanskin needs to be very careful. If he went to in Rocket Flare, so Hanskin won't be solo killed time soon. Well, Clockwork does have boots, which is one thing to be a little bit concerned about, and actually is going to be able to... Mid lane dies. Down. Oh my god, are they going to be able to find this? Limp running away. Weeha catches there with the Light Strike Ray and uh, Dragon Slave. Not quite going to be able to catch Limp. That was really close though. And Got to be careful. Uh, again, it's 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 looking a pretty scary right now. DC just on fire with their plays. And pings, 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 pings. Want this? That? Oh, this could be Toxa. Oh. That should be fine here. He's still got his dive. Misery is... He actually has two up and has saved his last point for now, I think. Yeah, he didn't put it into stats, so... Um, does have Nightmare available if he needs to use it, but... Again, just really good zoning, as Misery is just going to be able to chase Z-Freak away. Goes for another little... Uh, brain Sap, but no mana at this point. So, this might be the end of their ability to completely bully out the side of Complexity. But that was still a really good play coming in from Doom. He made sure that they weren't able to pull the lane uh, for and take away the creeps. So Swindle's going to be able to get a lot of EXP. Going to get a lot of oh Sunray. Oh my god, Sunray, right? Uh, it, they don't even need anything else but that. They find it with the Brain Sap in conjunction. Man, Bane is back, guys. Everybody keep your eyes on this hero. Bane back, you mean more like OS Frog Sun. That's true, too. Fair enough. I Bottom lane, on skin, my friend, you are... Fine. Well, they, they're not going to end up going for it. I thought that they might end up trying to push that one slightly further, but not going to be the case this time around. Clockwork again, level four, but open wounds and no mana. There's going to be an Earth Spike following it up. They also have the Hex and right clicked down. He might be dead. Can they get a couple more body blocks? Jesse just doing it well, and they are going to be... Ah, oh, no! They're running around. He gets the salve off, trying to block him off. Hanskin might go down there as well. <laughs> are they going to be able to do this? Clockwork finds the kill and gets away with murder. Actually, never mind. He ends up getting a little bit of vengeance coming from the life stealer but given the context of how bad that could have gone that's okay socks them meanwhile in the top oh. lane oh they break the dive freezy freak able to find the kill well played yep oh he could sleep him here but they don't have any follow-up so he's gonna go for it interesting the wolves are coming resolution oh. can have some huge body blocks here oh Wolves, oh yep. god, they've got Brain Sap surging away. Oh, that would have been close. So, uh, Swindles saving his buddy. They're, they're going to be able to escape for the moment. And, man, this game has just been action-packed all over the place. It, it never really stops. They're going to try and go on to Mu again. And I think that he is going to fall here. He has the cogs as well as the battery assault, but no such luck. He's in the rage cage with his team, and uh, they are going to be able to find that kill. Yep, this is where, you know, oh, top lane. Top lane, Swindles. Swindles. No, maybe. Yeah, he's dead. They find him. So seven kills in roughly five and a half minutes. This is turning out to be a bit of a brawl for this NA Dota spot. That's what I like to see. 
be some action pack non-stop and board is that pinged did they see that no i don't think they saw that place so sakas so hard name guys B -B. Right here. yeah <laughs> He's scattered him out and Z Freak doesn't have sentries. They can't really kill Weehaw, but they know he's in Viz right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is a scary moment indeed, particularly because that level six is up and they're going to be chasing down Z Freak. I don't know, I thought about it, but not gonna go for it, so Still a scary moment. This is one of those those points in time where, again, the draft for the Lena is really strong. You, you've just got to be so careful uh, if you're complexity. And now the wraparound might be coming. Swindles needs to be careful. Although, still with Surge, the thing is, is one of them is, should always be able to get out because of Surge. It's just that the other one might not be so lucky. Right. And I, I'm just kind of amazed right now that move level six on his clock whereas dark seer is only level level four four and a half here for swindles so this is when Moo's gonna potentially start taking over the game they have eyes on z freak here <laughs> that was pretty nice that might have actually saved his life there he able to get off the scorched earth and throw the uh hurl boulder back at misery before he gets off the nightmare so that little movement probably at least saved the dive not sure if he, he would have died from the dive though and Batrider saving up gold. He's going to be having his TP scroll and smoke being brought out to him. Oh, again, a lot of windows. Maybe in trouble. Oh, they well, end up going into ulti form. They're going to be going for this one. Yeah, there's no luck. I don't think that there's any way he gets out of that one. Rezo just runs him down, but Phoenix gets the last hit. Wendell's just beating now. Oh, Moose going to get scouted out by Z. Turns to the corner. Nope, nighttime. Not gonna see him. You know, it's actually hard casting with desert terrain. I feel oh, like no. I don't know when actually the <laughs> fog is is not there. Trade that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change. <laughs> no problem. One man. day. That's good stuff. That's that's why I do the camera work. We're good to go. It's it's scary. I I, I know what you mean though. There's all these new terrains where everything just looks different too in yeah. general. Like sometimes trees look like fountains. It's crazy. But the smoke in towards the mid lane, Z Freak, level four, Hurl Boulder available, as is the flaming lasso from Limp Weeha. Not gonna get ran down, but might be able to kill off the courier. Um, okay. They're going for the courier, courier bait. now, but they're not gonna be able to catch either. Oh, that was a little bit unfortuitous. Looking really good for DC so far in this early game. Sure, Mu hasn't gotten a kill or yeah, hasn't gotten a kill anywhere else on the map with this clockwork, but he's gotten all the levels that he needed in the off lane. So I think he's done a really good job. Now he, he needs to keep it up. They need to start pressuring. Weehaw did manage to survive that gank. Emped, and looks like Misery setting up for the bottom lane. Already level six here. This is nice. Yeah, if they could find Chessie, this would be a really important kill. And actually. Handskin is going to be stepping away for a moment. They uh, broke the smoke and Chessie backs up. So a little bit, uh, not not quite the perfect executed uh, gank by Misery, but it's still going to be fine. Um, this isn't anything lost. It's just a little bit of time. And as far as time is considered, do you think that either team is on a timer to win this game to shut it down early? Or do you think in the late stages, it's kind of up for grabs? I think past the 40 minute mark, I would favor complexity just a little bit more. Stopping that vacuum. Now you know what Swindle's level up for his level six. Not gonna have the wall of replica to work with. Sometimes that's good to know. Mm. That extra damage helps out you know, the extra 150 for a lot of solo kills. And the vacuum for canceling TPs, now you know you can't just TP away. Oh my god, Laguna Blade comes out to kill off the lion quick and easy there. Fiend's grip was used as well. It's just mean. <laughs> I need to have the fiend grip. It's a lot of damage, man. That's it's it ain't nothing to joke around with. And the like, honestly, you don't always have to have it. The nightmare is usually enough to get a setup. He didn't actually have to use brain right. sap and uh, didn't provide a ton of damage. But yeah, it's still good. He's probably far away, like, far away, so he had to use his fiend's grip. Well, Swindles again, forced back with the sunray. That was. Going to be Z Freak moving in, and again, a lot of the damage right now riding on the shoulders of Soxa as 
They're going to try and make sure that they keep them alive. They're actually going to rotate Misery and Rezo up here towards the top lane. Is this a kill that they can make? I think so. As long as Clockwork can find the find the hook. There was two scans just used. One was by the Radiant on the bottom near the tier one. Left of it, and then one was used by the Dire side on the middle lane, scouting out mm. Hanskin there. Well, Limp now has the Life Stealer inside of him. Blink Dagger ready to be revealed, and this is going to be the moment where they think about who they want to go on. Mu is available in the mid lane, and actually with the smoke break in, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to kill him off. Look at this. He's just under the tier 2 tower realizing exactly what can happen. And if even even if they jump on top of him, there's a good chance that he can just go for the hook away towards that hard camp. Instead, yeah. they're going to be able to find Weehan. This could be big. They're going to jump forward, flame break back, pushing him there. And oh, open wounds going to be able to find that. Really, really nicely done. But Jesse is also going to be cornered now. And he's stuck there. Mood's going to be able to find this. Oh, that was, uh, that, that was a really good reaction there from DC. They knew what they needed to do. And actually going for Limp as well. Not going to be able to find him. Really well played coming in from DC, getting that return kill. And, and it's worth it at this stage of the game to, to trade your carry. Or no, to trade your mid for the carry. So DC coming out on top there. Now they're going to be able to pressure the bottom lane a little bit here. They still have the clock hook up if they find anyone else out of position. So they are looking good. And then Alt Lycan pre-farming away. Yeah, he's going to come up here and mess with Swindles a little bit. Every time they move over, though, he has to surge away. Otherwise, something's going to happen. And Handskin now catching move for the moment. They have the Nightmare down onto Handskin, though. And this should allow them to step away. Oh, nice hook away. He catches a ride with Misery. But the haste turned up limp is going to be able to flame break back. Move for the moment. They also have a secondary Earth Spike now. And that's going to be the kill. Well played there by Complexity, making sure that they can pick up another one for themselves. I mean, you just can't do anything against the S4 rune. For Bat, um, but it's Limp Bat here. And he's doing a really good job, too. He's had that really well timed Blink Dagger. Try to make a kill happen with the Life Stealer. They found it and then almost up again. So they can do it uh, again if they want to, go somewhere around the map. They would ideally love to find resolution farming away in the jungle. But even putting down Weehaw is going to be a benefit for them. And they just need a transition after a kill to getting something. Like the tower bottom is low. They can pressure mid if they get a kill. So there's a lot of options for complexity right now. The one thing I would say is about this life stealer strat. We've seen a couple of other teams do it, and one of the best that I've saw was Fnatic actually running it, where they ended up having a Mushi Shadow Fiend, and then it was the Bat Rider and the Life Stealer, and then it sort of transitioned into the mid player playing more of a carry role with Bat Rider in the off lane. In this scenario, there isn't really that hero to to be the strong right clicker, and so. I feel like Life Stealer is kind of going to be Dyer's doing double duty, where he needs to also get a lot of farm, but he also needs to be a part of these ganks. What, what's your read on that? Is is it going to be too much for Chessie to accomplish, or do you think that he's going to be able to do it in this one? No, I think I think they have a lot of burst damage with the Lion, so they could just do Lion Batrider plays, and they also can do you know Batrider plus Doom plays just because it takes the hero out of the game. So. Sure, they do have only the physical DPS coming in from Life Stealer, but they have a lot of pick up the potential without the hero. Oh, and they're gonna find Misery right now, and Jesse's gonna be here to soak up this and should be able to find that kill. Batrider is the one that picks him off Sunray. Still going for the moment, but that means that it's not gonna be here if there is gonna be a fight that breaks out. Uh, Supernova is available still. Z fake seconds on Dude. cooldown, looking for it. They're gonna be able to catch him, and this isn't end up being Mu going down. There's gonna be the flame break back again. Rezo is here, but can they actually take this fight? Open wounds up the Lycan. That's not really gonna do a whole heck of a lot, and with that Supernova, I think that Complexity are going to back. They're they gonna should get this still tower, be able though. to take this tower, yeah. Well, Weeha still wants to party. All right, they're going to maybe go for this one. They have the Rocket Flare go through, and they do have Mu available with the hook shot. He's looking for his angle, going to jump on a handskins. Now they've also got another Light Strike array. There's going to be the uh, Dragon Slave. Mu pushed back again. Sunray's back up, and with that, I think that they're going to have to disengage. Yep, still... Yeah, good hold here. They need to deny the tower. Deny, deny, deny the tower. Deny, deny... 
<laughs> yeah, it's uh, maybe it's the bait. It's the long con. That's what they're trying to do. They want to make complexity move for this one. They again, got a bigger prize on their eye. Eye yeah. on the prize. The roach. Doing this, they have like in yeah, they have the books. There we go. They have how, but they don't want to eat that now. The vision that they've got here as well is just so good. You can see that they can see all of the heroes from Complexity moving over, and Hanskin is going to be here. Do they get a, a little inkling that something could be happening? I think that they do, and now they're going to end up losing Roshan and Complexity have to back. There's no great way to take this fight now. That was just really good of... DC. They got a pick off and then immediately kind of grouped up, went for the double damage for Weeha, and then they also had the Necro books completed, so they ha had enough damage to quickly burst down the Roche before Complexity could, you know, respond. And, and they knew they were doing it because nobody was defending the mid tower. Like, oh, well, they have to be doing Roche. Mm. Yeah. And just no great way to stop it from happening. And. Now we're seeing the movement down here. Tier 2 tower going to go down. They've got the Aegis. They're capable of taking probably this one. And do you think that they go for the mid-tier one afterwards? Yeah, because the top lane isn't pushed out far enough. I think they will go back, but they can also just TP thing and push it out too. Because Swindles eventually will be at the tower. But yeah, they, all they need to do is just rotate it over. To the mid lane. Oh, oh, looking mid. for Soxa. Going to be able to pull him back. They got the finger of death if they want to use it, but just going to hold on to it now. The Earth Spike, and that's it. But meanwhile, Hanskin gets blown up. Oh, God. They might be in a little bit of trouble now. Limp is going to get ran down. And all oh, meanwhile, on the bottom side, Bane also is able to pick off the Doom. So all over we the place, dead. you're seeing them move down. That is going to be a kill. Chessie jumps in for that one. Limp able to dodge away from the gank that was coming from the wolf. So Bane finds a kill in the bottom, but they were able to get away with one onto Weeha in the mid. Oh, Misery. Now also going to get pulled back. He does get into that Glimmer Cape because he's got that much farm and ends up dropping the Nightmare for Chessy, who is still here. And it looks like with that, Complexity are not going to be able to chase down Misery. <laughs> he taunts away and all right, good stuff. We're Star Wars. Robots out of here. But... <laughs> They're still hovering around the mid lane. 20 seconds left for Limp on his lasso. It, they just want to find these pickoffs for complexity right now. Even And they need to find these pickoffs before DC to group up. That's what they want to do. They want to group up, push with their Lycan Aegis, and they need to make sure they stop them. But hey ho, Weeha got his Bloodstone already. So tanky. Oh and my god. He's, he's going to be scaling very scary into the later stages of the game. Well, he has two deaths so far, but still an incredible amount of farm this early on. Is this something that you need to be worried about, though? This feels to me like a double down on that. Well, I have to hold that thought. Swindles, I'm pretty sure, is dead. Uh, they're going to be able to jump on in. The hook shot, everything leveled against him. He vacuums him back, but it was not really going to ever be anything there. But it, again, it, it brings me back to this point that I feel like this is sort of one of the most snowball types of oh, items wait. and now might end up losing his Bloodstone charges as they're going to be able to pull him back. Doom has been dropped and this is going to be Weeha going down. Well, Fiend's Grip, they're going to end up maybe being able to even keep him alive. The Glimmer Cape. Oh, can Lena survive through this? They got the Sunray to keep him alive. Weeha escapes. Man, Misery is just playing this so superbly. You got glimmers, you got sleeps and fiends grips for your ally. I mean, and then you just like to sum it all up, Phoenix. This is just really nice play coming in from DC. I, I just love watching these guys. They know what's up. And they're just going to go down the mid lane now. So with that pick off on Swindles, it was nice of completely to try and make something happen, but unfortunately wasn't enough. And now you do have this life sealer inside of the ancient black dragon looking to try and take this battle and a lot of damage coming out from the invest. Weeha gets broken right at the start. Really well played there. Mu is going to get ran down by Chessie as well and it does look like they're going to be able to take away a lot of that mana from resolution. Still gets off his ulti back in wall onto two. They get the supernova off. Chessie is going to get brought down. Can they kill off the Phoenix Sun? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. They do manage to bring it down but not nearly enough. Triple for Rezo and this is going to be Swindles getting ran down as well. Can he escape? I don't think so. No more surge, no more time. The big bad wolf gets an ultra kill at 20 minutes into this. Holy hell. Jeez, resolution. 
run away. He didn't even lose his Aegis during the team fight. And now with when you lose team fights like that against the Lycan, say goodbye to your tower. Yeah, this is gonna be a quick tier two and potentially even thinking about the top one if they wanted to, that lane is gonna be pushing rather quickly, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really concerned for complexity here. You see that Weeha has not been having the best game ever. 3-3-2 uh, three, three, in terms of the deaths and uh, kills and does only have the eight bloodstone charges, but it really does feel like the rest of the pieces of DC have been able to make up for the sort of squishy Lena. Yeah, it, it's kind of a game casted a little bit uh, two days ago where like Ramses did the game at 18 and 1 and like Jeez. 16 or something on his Lycan and they lost and, mm. and that could still happen here but like resolution he can't carry his team right now he is super scary he's going for the AC next obviously this is not a good BKB game just because of the doom and the lasso so he's just gonna bump up buff up his allies even more and complexity they know they need to get something done around the map you see how they really want to take over their jungle mm. try to find something Life Stealer scouting ahead with the Dark Troll Summoner. It's not often you see that being the creep that's used, but it's not bad. I mean, Ensnare is goes through BKB. Obviously, no BKB is online, but I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it goes through BKB, guys, just in case you didn't know. Um, but pretty quick movement speed and all the other stuff. DC realizing what's going on, though, and they're going to back out and not get caught here. As you say that. Well. Misery. Fine. Yep, Limp is playing a little bit risky, but you have to make plays as a bet rider. You need to make sure you push out the lanes and keep DC on their side of the map. Because complexity right now is going to get cut, picked off. Chetty, rip. Mm. Bottom. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my god, I'm the worst. I'm sorry, guys. Well, no, I got the kill. Fine, it's fine. I. Oh, Swindle's nice. dodging. Look at no, not gonna be there. Yeah, that's that's a really big kick off though. And now gonna try and pull back Weeha again. Swindle's doing a decent amount of damage. Can they suicide. burst him down in time? And it looks like he might be able to find something. He What's didn't that? suicide. Okay. We don't condone suicide, so please, everyone, don't yeah. do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a good thing to not do that. Is it looks like Misery is going to be trying to just again mess with Swindles a little bit, but Hanskin is there as well, and I'm gonna not end up going for that. But meanwhile, the Courier gets speed boosted away. That might have spotted out that Rezo was there, and it looks like they're gonna collapse in on these two three heroes. Z Freak maybe in a little bit of trouble. Doesn't end up dropping the Doom as he ends up getting off the Infernal Blade, but is it going to be enough? Rezo's still alive for the moment. They have been able to pick off that Courier. Now Hanskin's going to get dropped down. They try and finger out the resolution like in, but it's not going to be enough, and maybe now they can escape. It's a scary moment. Limp gets caught there by Moo. Pushed back as well with the Cogs on a Chessie, and now Z Freak as well as Limp on one side. A very chaotic battle. It looks like Chessie almost got brought down there, but it's not going to be enough oh god running away arm with toggling for victory is he gonna be able to escape they're trying to find the kill there's gonna be the sunray coming through and he does finally fall moo meanwhile is gonna drop low but z freak not gonna be able to finish him off they've also got swindles that's gonna be the fiend's grip oh another four heroes dead and nobody from dc died and now we have to look at buybacks i mean is there one on life stealer here oh my Yes, thank goodness. We got to use it though, Dark here as well. This is looking really bad for Complexity all of a sudden. They're just running at them and... Ah, I don't know, man. Phoenix is doing a lot of work. It's so, so oh. scary. Doesn't end up hitting that one. Hanskin pulled back. He jumped in, but... Chessie is looking to find Moo, the Cogs, and just is going to be able to walk away. Vacuum wall under three, though. This might be the opening that they need. Misery does die. Rezo's going to be able to escape for the moment. Moo runs off into the trees. They're still trying to catch on a Weeha. They are going to be able to pull him back. Meanwhile, Moo creates a lot of space, but it does still look like they're going to be able to find and kill off Weeha. So three are dead. Rezo, as well as Soxa, able to escape. And Chessie gets a triple. Yeah, that's... I'm trying to figure out how I weigh this in my head, because... One, at one side of things, you know, you had to buy back on your two cores, and that's hitting. But at the other side of things, you're actually shutting down resolution so hard that 
Uh, not resolution, sorry. Weeha so hard that it is kind of like all on resolution right now to to carry his team to the next for the next like 10, 15 minutes because Weeha has, has four bloodstone charges right now, and yeah. that is not where you want to be as Helena, 100% right now, and he's struggling. And it's not necessarily his fault. It's kind of the hero, and it's really hard for him to survive against this complexity lineup. I would agree, and you look at the net worth, it feels like he's pretty uh, ahead, but that's it's not really indicative of the actual state of the game, because a lot of it is tied up in that bloodstone that's not doing a lot for them, but meanwhile, Later. up here again, they're going to be able to find him, and it's exactly what we're talking about. There's just, there's not a great answer. They do end up having the Yule Scepter, but ends up having to commit suicide. Oh, God. Now down to two bloodstone charges. Faith. Oh. Resolution is laughing. Ha, ah, you kill me, I get Roche. All things considered, that's worth it. Uh, as, as long as he gets the suicide off, they get this Roche that they need so they can close out the game. And then... Might even be able to defend top lane. Uh, it'll still go down. The Desolator, the Armlet. They are fortifying it, though. Hmm. Well, maybe forcing a reaction out of the side of complexity and hoping to catch them in a bit of an odd spot. Mu does have a TP in four as well as the Phoenix in four now as well. So I think that they just, they couldn't end up respawning quickly enough. They, they needed to be able to, to all TP at once, but um, don't want to have to go back to defend that if you're not going to be able to be there as five. Yeah, and oh my goodness. I'm just looking across the map now for items and I, I'm looking at my Phoenix. I'm, I'm getting very worried now. He is. Yeah, oh my he's goodness. stacked up. Shiva's almost complete on him and 200 gold. Already level 14 has all of the spells to work with. Oh, and this, this could be class. a really scary moment. I, th they're both smoked up limp. I if they blow all of this on Misery right here, this would be terrible. And it doesn't look like they've ended up dropping everything yet. They do jump out. Supernova a little bit far away from the rest of the battle. Handskin is going to end up dropping, and Lena found the kill there. But I think that they can still take this fight. They've already lost the Bane, so not a ton of control for Chessie. It looks like they're going to want to counter initiate, though. As the Sunray still doing a lot of damage. If Chessie goes down here, it'd be really bad. Still Arma toggling. They found Z Freak. He is going to fall. And a double Hurl Boulder on to move with those Doomlings. Complexity are just trying desperately to hang on to anything, but now they're going to be able to catch up on Limp. Four steps away before he gets caught there with the Light Strike Array. Vacuum Wall is available. They're looking to take this. The buyback from the Boom, the buyback from the Jesse as well. The Resolution is trying to man up against this, but I think that he's going to be dropped down. This is going to be the Aegis. Oh, well, Sox are keeping him alive for a long time. Vacuum back on to three. They also do him up. Weeha, he might end up dropping. I think that they can find him. And Rezo is just going to turn and fight Lyft, but can't a four staff away. Everybody's so oh. low. He just jumped forward and figure the Phoenix. Rezo now also getting his mana drained. Earth Spike, the battle that never ends. They run in for the Infernal Blade. Speed Freak just trying to run away now. They get the Laguna Blade onto him, though, and that's going to pull him down. Get a couple Bloodstone charges, why don't you? And I think with that, is Mu going to die? He's just going to get ran down as well. I oh, think like maybe they pull the back onto Weeha. Try to kill them off. Can they finish this? They've only lost one hero on DC. They did finally kill off Lena. And now trying to run down Misery, trying to run down Doom. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it as of yet. Battery Assault, Hex. Oh, can they make it happen? They caught the Fiend Grips on his Swindles. He's out of mana, out of time. And now he's getting pushed back by the Cogs. Oh my goodness. What is this fight? This is a fight that lasts for 10, 10 years, man. Oh my goodness. It, look at this show fight recap. Oh, that doesn't even tell the story of it. That was like half of a fight. And now the worst part is Lycan is still alive. He's just got a fresh BKB. They're going to go high ground and he's got his ulti online. So this is very good for DC right now. You need to be a little bit careful. Limp has his lasso in 10. Um, if they can hold them back for that amount of time, it would be really good. They eat the Necronomicon, and now Weeha's back in the mix. Still not a ton of Bloodstone charges, but I think he has what he needs. Laguna Blade is up and available. Z Freak is going to get caught there. They pull back Weeha, though. Oh, oh. So good hook shot. Are you kidding me, Moo? What is this player? And now, with that, they might be able to take off the rest of it. No more lockdown. Lion ends up having to buy back, and Resolution pops BKB, turns into ulti form, trying to take this one. Limp is just doing anything that he can, but it's not nearly enough. They get the brain tap off as well, trying to bring him down, and it looks like they're just going to be able to escape. 
nothing doing. And that hook shot from Moo. Can I get a Moo Moo? <laughs> that was a that was a nice play coming in from him. Like he single handedly won that team fight with that hook onto the lion. And they are looking very pretty right now for DC. They just got the both of the Raxes, they forced, you know, Complexity to use so many buybacks. And, and not just this last team fight, but the PS1. And they're just making them bleed. And and right now, they're they're hemorrhaging for Complexity. It's like 15k gold lead right now. So far, the... You know, DC is just playing absolutely amazing. Complexity, they're trying, but we haven't seen that really big combo yet coming in from Complexity. Have we, like, Darkseer plus Lion? It hasn't happened. DC no. have done a really nice job of just splitting up in these team fights and not giving opportunity for Swindles to have these, you know, amazing vacuum wall combinations with the, uh, the Lion stuns. And that's something that I think it's so understated, like how important that is. Because oftentimes you see these team fights develop and they become hectic, and then all of a sudden everybody groups together, and that's the moment where Darkseer really shines. But DC is just showing an incredible amount of patience and stick to itedness. They're 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 really, I mean. It's been a, a, really impressive to watch, and I guess it's a lineup that doesn't want to do that anyways. They they want to be spread out far, but um, it's sometimes difficult to make that happen when it all becomes that chaotic. Clockwork now, by the way, has an Aghanim Scepter, and given how good Mu has been playing this game already, I, I'd be really worried if I was Complexity. I'm trying to figure out how they yeah, they stop Mu in these situations right now, because he's... Him and Misery have made all the key plays for the Jations. Misery's on point, except for like maybe one, but that's gonna happen in the game. So mm. the Wolves are scouting out right now. D Freak is a very poor, considering you know where Phoenix is at this stage in the game. So I would gladly take my support position, you know, Phoenix right now than the Doom. Yeah. That 5K, whereas Phoenix is almost 10. Ridiculous. It's really absurd. And I mean, well, doubling up both of the other supports, they found it onto Limp. Misery is going to die, though, for this. And oh, that would have been a really big play if there wasn't the follow up that they needed. And now Handskin as well as Limp are going to try and catch out the Phoenix here. Suddenly, Sock's going to whirl of hurt. He is going to end up dropping down. And they get the Hex as well as the Mana Drain. And that should be a kill. So, two quick ones going the way of complexity. And this is maybe going to make them feel strong and com confident enough to go for more. Yeah, that's them giving a lot away because Resolution wasn't really there. Weehawk can TP in with his boots of travel so he doesn't have to be there. He can just TP onto the Wolves or the or the Necro 3 and, and it'll be fine so he can split the map on the map. But uh, unfortunate, Life Stealer's inside. So, you know, you get those kills. But the thing is, it's on two supports. Right. They're going to be back up. And that's just hurting in the long longevity of things you, you didn't kill them now they're gonna be up you have to be very careful now well and they're gonna be able to take at least well can they actually take this tower with phoenix back up they might be able to oh this would be big though they're going for it gonna be able to chase down and kill off who they force staff them through the cogs and gonna be able to pull them back now this should be a kill i would imagine blade mail lift up not gonna be able to get out on the other side with that hook shot and see freak dropping low he is gonna fall suddenly they turn this back around misery though is gonna go down they get the finger of death is also gonna be able to kill off Mu. and i think that with that they need to disengage resolution's gonna start to chase him down they're on to chessy already oh the big bad life stealer gets inside of the necro oh the vacuum oh wow, they're gonna be able to catch him with the earth spike as well with the counter with the sun can't they do this and flexi are trying to kill them off they're gonna be able to find them all though resolution too much damage oh no it looked so good but it wasn't enough Ooh, that play from complexity was so good but even better play coming out from dig digital oh my goodness i can't believe they they managed to turn that thing around that phoenix egg on point they made them all focus it they, they had to focus it else they were going to lose that team fight and then resolution just wailed on everyone that death later pickup too crushing right now during that team fight and so this is looking really good once again for dc they're trying to wait out the next roche they'll scout it out resolution if he keeps his wolves in the pit he should find them that it will respawn in a minute well we'll see how he plays it 
but also he's been doing a really nice job this game of just constantly scouting around the map, getting vision for you know these plays coming in with his wolves. I can't believe how, and again, you talked about it a little bit earlier, how important that combo was to be able to hit it, and they, they hit it perfectly, and DC just played around it. Like, Resolution, the fact that he has gotten as much farm as he has means that even though, like, they have to burst him at the start of the fight then. That, like, that to me is the perfect fight with the exception that they didn't burst down Resolution first. And until they're capable of doing that and controlling him, I don't think that they can win a fight, but they also can't focus him. It's just, it's too much. Yeah, they got BKB problems. It's kind of like you have to find Resolution before the team fight starts but they're not they're finding the supports they're finding clockwork and and that is the tipping point in this game right now batrider is finding the initiations but not on resolution man and this game again complexity showing that they're capable of making something happen but the wraparound they realize what's going on dc are going to back out for the moment as they do not want to get caught in this and this is a very, very scary, tense situation. Again, if they can find resolution at the start of this, he's walking down, they might be able to catch him there, and they do end up being able to get off the flaming lasso. This is the start that they need, but the Fiend's grip onto Chetzi, he's gonna be controlled. They kill off Rezo, that might be enough to make this work. The Supernova on the background, and Rezo's gonna buy back, trying to hop into there. Limp is gonna stay alive for the moment. With that, Yule Scepter blinks away. They get off the stun onto Z Freak as well as Chessie. They need to get out of there. Can they find the kill? Doom is down, and it looks like Chessie is gonna be as well. Oh, trying to TP, he gets out. All right, not going to be able to get taken out. So it could have gone really bad, but man, oh man. Hey, they need to desperately buy back and just go. If they don't go and contest this, I think it's over. Yeah, it's, they're just going to have Aegis and Cheese now. Oh boy, this is looking really bad still for complexity. And he has a second life now for resolution. The, oh, the hook missed barely. <laughs> Zephyr just fall back. Or was that on? No, that was on mid. Uh, that was. That would have been the swindles hook and and kill if they would have been able to find it, but not quite. Oh, and now looking for another one. Uh, the resolution. He did just buy back. So if they can find him here, if they're capable of of getting that one important pick off, then they're going to be able to win this got potentially. We all lifted up. Yule Scepter and going to be able to jump out now with Chessy. They Yule Scepter him in return, but no luck in terms of making that uh, getaway. Is first they kill hit off of that rider. I mean, what can you do when you get first hit? First hit bashed. Tough life. It really is. So, the state of the game, as it stands, I do still feel like either team can take this. Like, Complexity definitely have the, the bigger road ahead to make it work, but the buyback that was forced out from the Lycan because they caught him there means that there's this window where if they if they can catch him again with that Batrider, they can certainly win this game. This isn't over. Very tough to do that just because he has the Aegis now, and yeah. he has that fallback mechanic and if they do that play as they did last time it, it's not going to work out as so the situation is, has changed a little bit just because of the Aegis and, and the cheese so you're, you're forced to still doom Weeha if Z can manage to find him in the back lines and then if they are able to do that take him out maybe they have a ch shot at winning the team fights than just you know having resolution Trying to figure out what they want to do with a resolution with their heroes. Maybe lasso them on a clip. <laughs> but, there you go. <laughs> that's that's the solution, guys. That's the play. If you're capable of doing that, it would just be huge. And again, Lena has been able to catch up. I would say she was never really behind in terms of net worth, but the Bloodstone is starting to to work into her favor a little bit. Has a Yule Scepter building towards the Aghanims, and DC feel like they want to make something happen with this Aegis. Again, it, this game has felt like it's on a knife edge the whole time, and with one racks up, I, I don't think that that's enough to feel completely confident in being it, it just being over, and it, it never really, I think, is going to feel that way for DC until they're, you know, mega creeped, essentially, but they're certainly well on their way. Lifestealer has that Abyssal Blade. Any other big item pickups that you feel like we're going to have to see out of complexity uh, coming up relatively shortly here? They really need to blink on Doom desperately. I can't stress that enough that his initiation is has to be on point. As well as, you know, the lion plus 
the Lion plus Darks here being played on complexity, they we saw the tandem, how great it can be. They still managed to kill three heroes with it. So mm. they're gonna have to have that. They have a lot of opportunities to off the pool around the map because Batrider and his play so far in the game, but we'll have to see. It's gonna come down to play. I, I still oh swindles. Oh my god. Okay, and Mu hooks in a little bit too far. They might need to sacrifice Swindles for this as he's gonna end up getting brought down. So Resolution finds that kill, but they take down Mu as well. Z Freak, my god, he's just exploding and Resolution is doomed, but I don't think that they really care. They hop oh. back in back. You wall the earth spike again. Is it gonna be enough damage? Soxy he gets the angle. They use the finger of death on him and now they're running back around the Laguna Blade. Limp is gonna get forced staff away again. It looks so good for complexity, but it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. DC is gonna end up losing misery, but the Earth Spike again onto Weeha, controlled for the moment. Chessie jumps out of the creep. It looks like they're gonna be able to hold for the moment. Can they bring down resolution? <laughs> oh, they're gonna make you able to find it. They killed off the lion. Are you kidding me? Lion buys back, Hanskin wants to party. They jump forward, get to the Earth Spike again onto two. Oh, Hanskin has just been an animal this game. They back him back, Soxa again, gonna be able to slow him up. They have the Yule Scepter lift. I think Complexity might be able to do this. If they can bring down Weeha here, this would be huge. Tressie just chasing, trying to find the kill, and that's gonna be the kill. I believe he does go down here as they're gonna be able to pull him back one more time again. Resolution, meanwhile, the sole survivor and Wyback status is not on a lot of heroes. I am just, you know, the this complexity lineup, their synergy is just amazing to watch. And that unfortunate hook in by Mu, he's going to be kicking himself in the butt now. I, that was, that was very unfortunate. Just that was a drive-by, and, and it put himself in a bad position where we talked about it. He has the ags online, so he can constantly, you know, keep hooking and keep in, and like a free pick off on the darks here turned around something nasty for for DC. And the plays are there, for, and there's a lot of hope. Meanwhile, Mu gonna kill Hanskin while he's going on the the warding adventure. Uh, a little bit unfortunate there as he is going to get brought down. Still got the ward out. I don't know if they're going to realize that that one is up there, but it's a pretty obvious spot. And Well, he warded it earlier. Uh, yeah, he they warded like four minutes ago as the okay. ward, but I think he wanted to go deeper and plant some more. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, DC again running down mid lane. No buyback this point on hand skin and... Actually, the only buyback is going to be on the Batrider. A lot of these team fights have been won with the buybacks. Can they hold without that line? That was such a big part of their combo. And they jump forward, going to be able to pull back Resolution again. No great escape for him. He's doomed up, not going to be able to get his ulti. They're going to be able to push him away with the cogs. Maybe, no, not there. They actually don't have him, and Swindle's still alive for the moment. They haven't actually brought down any of these heroes for the moment. They do kill off Swindles finally, and Weeha starting to turn this one back around. Get to like strike right on a three. See you later, nerds. Let's learn right from here. I think that they are going to be able to escape. Sokta goes into ulti form, and now the hook back in. Oh. They might be able to do this. They're also going to be able to get the feed script. Jesse controlled and maybe even killed off. Can they find him? Oh, oh he gets the side of the screen. They're not going to be able to find him. Clockwork still does kill Doom, but now the Nightmare down on the Chessie. The Dream might be dead, as I think the right clicks are going to be enough to finish him off. Mu again escapes over and over on 75 All the counter yules. Oh no. They still don't take down the barracks, because that's what they don't have a like in. But back and forth we go in this game. My heart be still. Man, the Mu and Misery show. Hmm. That is... That was hella fun to watch. I, I'm I'm enjoying this game. I don't know about you guys and <laughs> that. It's in the awesome. game, this is one hell of a, a game, man. And, and these guys have played so many times against each other. It's just you know you, you could have these you know 50 minute games, 60 minute games, and they're just always going to be absolutely amazing. And it's neither team has the edge right now it, because we talked to. In the draft, complexity is lined up. Going into the later game stages, it's super scary. You just saw them blow up like it, and then, okay, where's your physical DS? Mm -hmm. But Digital Chaos, they've managed to turn it around with amazing team play, clockwork, move, playing like a madman. And yeah, this will be interesting to see who pulls it out here. 
So I guess we should maybe touch base with items. Anything changing right um, here for us? Let's see. It looks like Darkseer is building into a next item. It could end up being a, a Lotus Orb. We saw him go that in the previous series. Um, what did he actually have on the courier there? A Wind Lace. I don't know what the hell he's going for. They smoke up. It looks like we might not have time to even talk about it a ton. They have a Shiva's Guard on Batrider, so a, another ability there to have just a lot of that uh, vision advantage. And I feel like this smoke might be telegraphed, though, as it looks like they are going to be having that bottom lane that's pushing in. And, God, this is just the, the death squad gank, gank team. Moo goes forward. They don't break the smoke on that. And so... With this, I, I think I think that Complex, you're going to have to call off the charge. Right. And this, the Wolves were scouting, too. So they saw the Firefly and perfect position. DC not getting caught out here. I think there's there's some big, pretty big item pickup that just occurred. Lifestealer having the Blink Dagger. He can now go on top of anybody he wants in the back line. And that could be huge if able to solo kill maybe the Bane because he does have the Abyssal Blade or, you know, even the, you know, Phoenix, uh, oh my god, Phoenix, Ags, online, yeah. this is, <laughs> this is the answer to the yeah. Doom. This is the answer for resolution. Oh boy, if they're able to pull this off, so, I'll be so oh, pressed. One other thing that we got to keep in mind here is that it's now up to 13 attacks to end up destroying the egg when he's got the Aghanim Scepter. So, level 19 Phoenix, pretty strong. I still want to say though that I don't. Can he actually pull in resolution? Because that was the way that they ended up winning that one big demonstrative team fight in the top lane was that they pulled in or they dropped the egg and then Rezo was just able to right click down the rest of complexity. I, I feel like it's it's one of those things where if you pull him in at the wrong time, like Soxa just has to have such great understanding of the dynamics of the fight. Because if Bane is there, for instance, then he can nightmare somebody and fiend script another, and then the egg's gonna end up being able to get finished. Um, but if he's not, then I feel like complexity can just focus it. Very hard to focus because it all has to be sort of on the life stealer. Oh god, uh, it's too hype. We're we're too hype right now. We've broken the sound barrier. It's it's all over. Everybody's gonna die. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh wow. I I, I think that your microphone might have gotten broken. Are you still there, Ryu? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can hear you. You're good. You're good. You sound good. You sound wonderful. Moo is shooting off his little uh, his little hook shot all over the place, but we've we've secretly lost. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's fine. Hello? I, I need to plug something back. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we're good to go. It's fine. Everybody's farming. We're, we're still good here. It's, the hype levels have, have transitioned through the servers and knocked us off the, the face of the earth. mid is is here now as Moo is going to try and hit one of these another really big hook shots in. Resolution does not get a whole lot stronger than he is right now. Does have the Basher, might be building into the Abyssal fairly soon. And again, a little bit surprised that we haven't seen a ton of the Boots of Travel. It's it's mainly been the other I, items that allow him to win a fight. How's it going, sir? You're back with me just in time for this fight to get started. Yeah, I got attacked by a, a big bug. I was, oh uh, God. <laughs> you know, you get that feeling when you have something flying around you and it's actually landing on you and it's, uh, whatever. Anyway, oh God, uh, the creepy. reason why you don't go boost travel is because the additional attack speed from power chest is super amazing. Okay. Oh God, they're going to be able to pull back. Actually, no, he lost out of creep. Oh. He got the wolf. Rezo is not going to be controlled. They end up missing the hook shot. Everything is popping off right now, but Rezo might actually die the back to wall. The earth spike again. They killed him off. He's going to come back in does. just a second and it is going to be able to keep him inside of there. Is it going to be enough? They buy back on the Phoenix and Weeha hits a light strike for right Jesse trying to stay alive through this. He is going to end up getting inside oh. a creep again. Jesse escapes over and over again. Are they going to have another one of these, though? They control resolution for the moment. Finger of Death comes out. Jesse Phoenix. might be able to do this. Are they going to pull him inside? They hit the hook shot with Lou as well. Supernova has already been used, but Sunray is more than enough damage. 
Lifestealer has to buy back. They're going to continue the team fight. Sea Freak, the vacuum Resolution. on the three. They don't have the follow up as of yet, trying to bring him down. Misery is going to be controlled instead, and Glimmer Cape still alive on the other side of the fight. The Supernova comes out. They've killed off the Lycan. He has fallen. He does have buyback, but hasn't used it as of yet. Z Freak trying to chase down Soxa. They're pinging out on the ancient, or on the, the barracks for the moment. They also threw out the Abyssal, so Soxa is going to fall. And up here towards the north, they're trying to keep them back, but they don't hit the Light Strike Ray. And Lena is going to get an Infernal Blade. Oh, oh, they just explode. Hands can get out of my game. The first hit batch, though. Oh, it's not nearly enough. Oh, He's okay. trying to get away. Weeha's going to maybe be able to escape. Can they get an open wound? It doesn't look like it. Batrider killed off the clockwork in the meantime. And another Light Strike Ray. Weeha out of here. Suddenly, four heroes dead for DC. Oh, my God. God, I could just name a hundred plays that were so individually skilled for both sides, and I could talk about that for the 10 minutes, but I won't, guys. Is that Phoenix play? Oh my goodness, saving Weehaw there. I, unfortunately, they weren't able to save Resolution and continue, but man, look at this base. It is ballish right now, complexity. They have to go all in. They have to go all in just because two range racks left. And wolves and necro books and eventually get them so you have to go all in here in the mid lane uh, for complexity there's no other option else you're just going to get ratted to death uh, they, this is going to be the last team fight we see all right well buyback status they have it on the like and he's going to be back up though in 12 seconds and lena also does have it the fact that we was able to escape from that is just ridiculous to me i can't believe that light striker i was able to get her away from there and Clockwork also going to have a buyback, but this could be the first lane of racks going the way of complexity. What's the, where's the initiation? Who needs to do what here in this fight? I don't know, man. The Bat Rider has been on his A game this whole time for Limp. He has a refresher, guys. He oh, God. Keep... Yeah, good luck, Lyrical. I know you've been casting great so far. All right. You have to be on your P's and Q's again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they're going to be able to do it. It's 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 getting ready for the moment. It feels like complexity have to go in at this stage, and they are going to end up surging him up. Limp, he wants some. Come at me, bros. He comes forward. Is going to be able to catch their own socks, but no, he gets the supernova off. They're going to disengage for the moment, but they've caught Chessie, and now going to be able to bring it back. Back him wall onto three. It's not going to be nearly enough, though. Handskin's going to fall. So is Swindle. Oh, that's I think GG. the GC might have done it. Oh, the overextension and not being able to catch out Soxa there. Again, this guy has just been on point all game. Phoenix, Phoenix and Moo, MVP, Misery as well. They're going to jump back, are going to be able to catch one, and maybe is it going to be enough? Actually, drop the Doom onto Rezo, but look at the damage onto Z-Freak. Not nearly enough. Moo just walks away, does a nice little moonwalk out of there while taunting on the clockwork, and now he catches him again with the hook shot. Oh, Lip goes down. GG gets called. DC. In a thriller, take game number one. You know, I actually cast their cursed limp so hard right there. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh no. So damn bad. Oh my oh. goodness. That was, that could have been the play, not of his life, because the game isn't the biggest game of all, but man, this that could have been one of the biggest plays he could have made there if he caught out the Phoenix right there because Soxta didn't have buyback, and that they would have actually potentially won the game from there if he Phoenix doesn't get it off an egg, and that was so heartbreaking to watch for for like limp fans, for complexity fans, as he was jumping in as the Phoenix was diving.